to try to get things flowing again. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. But when you got the Holy Ghost, Jesus, Jesus. when you trust in God, Jesus, Jesus. sometimes you can't call the doctor. You better know how to call Jesus. Or you better know how to call somebody that can get a breakthrough to God. And she prayed. Holy Ghost. Hit my legs. And when I was losing feeling, moving, I saw him moving the legs. Jesus. I said, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Ghost hit me again. That thing started flowing. Jesus, Jesus. Out my body. Jesus, Jesus. All the feeling that I was Jesus, losing Jesus, Jesus. started coming back. Jesus, Jesus. I said in that car, I said, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. She said, go drink some water and go to bed. Because the Lord going to give you a good night's sleep. Hung up the phone. She said, amen. I said, amen. And you know what amen means? It is so. Cut off that phone. I said, I can't go in the house. I said, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And with them legs that stopped working, I saw stomping in that thing. I said, thank you, Jesus. 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 And I came back into
You know what I said? I said, I'm going to sit here and I ain't going to praise God. I said, I don't want nothing to work up too much. And then something happened, you know. I said, Lord, I don't want to you know, get too excited. I exhaust myself before I got to preach. Because I'm going to exhaust myself then. So, I ain't going to sit here. I'm just going to sit here. And after a while, brother, I said, if I don't praise him, I'm giving the devil the victory. That's right. That's right. Thank you. I said, no. I said, no, just sit here. Just sit here. Don't work yourself up too much. You know, because when you leave from South Carolina, now you have to make a doctor appointment. And then you got to get an EKG. And a heck of a in your heart to find out if something's going on. So don't, don't over exhaust yourself. You all the way down here. In South Carolina, God forbid, if something happened and they got to put you in the hospital, God forbid. But I told my wife, and saints, we got to get to this place in God. Jesus. I done told my wife. I said, I done laid my life down. I done laid. My life Hallelujah. down. Yes. Jesus said, if a man holds on to his life, praise the name of the Lord, he going to lose it. But if he let it go, he'll gain it. So I told Sister Blair, Of Jesus Christ. So be it. If after I preach and labor in the gospel and I pray people through to the Holy Ghost and I close my eyes on this side, so be it. Because if I lose my life, I shall gain it. And y'all with the Holy Ghost, it's too quiet for me. Yes, Jesus. We got Resurrection That's power right. That's on right. the inside. That's right. And we can to understand that if we die, we shall live again. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. 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 away from the hope of the gospel. Jesus. And the hope of the gospel is, sister, that one day the inevitable is going to happen. One day, Jesus, Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Jesus. That experience Jesus. that I had on Friday night is not going to stop. What a day! Glory to God. I'm going to try to call Brahma, but that thing ain't going to let me go. I'm going to try to pick up the phone, and that thing ain't going to let me go. And what will happen? Come on, preacher. Jesus, Jesus. I close my eyes. Jesus, Jesus. And death won't let me go. Sister Kelly, I done came to that reality. And you know what I do now? Every time I get up in New York, I stress the importance of the Holy Ghost. Yes, yes, yes. I don't care what I'm doing. Yes. I don't care what I'm preaching. I can be talking about giving. But at the end of the message, I'm going to bring up the gift of the Holy Ghost. Yes. I can be talking yes. about it being a sunny day. Yes. At the end of it, I'm going to talk about the Holy Ghost. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Because somebody needs it. And some of you that got it need it again. Jesus. Because you have had it for so long that you have let that thing stick. Jesus. And that's what Paul told Timothy. Stir up the gift. Thank <laughs> you. 
Because I promise you, I'm getting out of the way. Matthew, the third chapter. Jesus. Jesus. Matthew, the third chapter. Jesus. Jesus. Do we get out of Matthew, the third chapter. Brother Kelly, give me the third, the eleventh verse. Matthew, the third chapter. Verse number eleven. I indeed baptize you. John said, I indeed baptize you. With water unto repentance. With water unto repentance. But he that cometh. But he that cometh after me after me is mightier than I. He's mightier than I. Whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. Whose shoes I'm not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you. He shall baptize you. With the Holy Ghost. With the Holy Ghost. Who's fan? I'm baptizing you. Yes, sir. With what? With water. Unto repentance. Baptize yes, means to fully yes. submerge. Jesus. Jesus. To dip you in. To cover you. Yes. With water. Yeah. That's what John did. And Peter told us on the day of Pentecost mm -hmm. that we too had to be baptized in water in Jesus' name. Yeah. Jesus. But John said, He that's coming after me is mightier than I. Is mightier than I. Whose shoes I am not worthy. Whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize. He shall submerge. Uh huh. With the Holy he shall cover you. Jesus. He shall engulf you. He shall consume you. Jesus. Jesus. With Jesus. The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Jesus. With fire. Jesus. With. Come on. Come on now. I want to examine fire. Yes. Yes. Real quick. Fire serves two purposes. All right. Fire burns up stuff. It destroys stuff. It eradicates stuff. But fire also ignites stuff. Illuminates stuff. Jesus. Hey. It consumes stuff. Even in a good way. Yeah. So it serves two purposes. So we want the Lord to consume this house. What house are we referring to? That's right. First Corinthians, the sixth chapter, and the 19th verse. Yes. First Corinthians. The sixth chapter and the nineteenth verse. What? He says, What? Know ye not that your body Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Is the temple yeah. of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Which is in you. Which is in you. Which ye have of God. Which ye have of God. And ye are not your own. And you are not your own. For you are bought with a price. For you are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God. Glorify God. In your body. In your body. And in your spirit. And in your spirit. Which are which God's. Are God's. Mm -hmm. Your body mm -hmm. is the house. Yeah. Your body yeah. is the house. Many times when we get in services like this, we're waiting for God, and I'm going 
right to that second part. We're waiting for God to consume the entire house, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. meaning this building. Mm -hmm. And we want to wave up the Holy Ghost to just sweep through this house. But in order for the Holy Ghost to sweep through this house, the Holy Ghost must first sweep through this house. That's right. Amen. Amen. So before it can be a collective thing, Jesus, Jesus. it has to be an individual, individual thing. thing. Yes. Yes. And when it becomes an individual thing, we all got the same mind, yes. then it becomes a collective thing. Yes. We the apostolic holiness people, yeah. we have heard about the day of Pentecost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we heard about the Holy Ghost falling. But when we examine that verse, it says that when the day of was fully called. They were all. They were all with one accord. With one accord. In one place. In one place. And suddenly. Uh, 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 eh? They were in one place. Yeah. One accord. But they were with one accord. One accord. Yeah. Which lets me know it was about 120 up in there. Yeah. It lets me know that all 120. Said, you know what? Jesus promised us something. He told us to go wait into Jerusalem until we're endued with power from on high. So Peter didn't go over there and look at Matthias and say, I'm waiting for the Lord to move through Matthias and then I'll get on board. Oh, Mary, the mother of Jesus, is up here too. Well, I'm going to wait for the Holy Ghost to move on. Mary, and then I'll jump in there too. But the Bible said they were all with one accord. One accord. That means all of them had their minds on the same thing. That means all of them yes, Jesus. was doing the same thing. Yes, yes. Which means individually, they made up in their mind, yeah. I'm going to get what God yes, sir. promised me. Yes, sir. That's right. So I made up my mind, I'm going to get Jesus, what Jesus. God promised me. Jesus, Jesus. Brother Gilly made up in his mind, I'm going to get what God promised me. Elder Easton made up in his mind, I'm going to get what God promised me. Jesus. And then when we all got the same mind, They made their minds up. Jesus. That I want God to do something for me. That's right. I want everybody to put your hand on your chest. Jesus. My Lord Jesus. And I want everybody to say, Lord, Lord consume, consume this house. This house. Jesus. 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 And when they did that, Jesus. the Holy Ghost, Jesus. the presence Jesus. of the Almighty came into the building. Jesus, 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 Jesus. When they were sent, Jesus. God said, these people want something. Oh, my Lord. My Lord. They're offering me something. Sit 
of the people upon it. And after they did that job, they waited for God. Jesus. Jesus. New Testament says, present your body. So God said you do something. Uh -huh. yes. Sister they saw him. Sacrifice yourself. Put yourself on the altar. Put your thoughts, your opinions, your ways, your struggles, your insecurities, your hurt, your pain. Jesus. Well, I don't do none of that. Well, I got your number two. Yeah. Put your gossip in. Uh -huh. That's right. Your lying. Your disfellowship. Your arrogance. Your ego. Your stubbornness. Your bossiness. Your pride. Your high-mindedness. Your self-righteousness. You have to wait for God yeah. to consume yeah. And the Bible said they will put it yeah. on the altar. And then God Come down. So will answer. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus, that Jesus. Secret stuff. Jesus, Jesus. And we think that don't nobody know about it. But the fact of the matter is, God's eyes are ten times brighter than the sun. Jesus. There is no darkness in God. So even though you're creeping at night, probably got to say nothing. Uh -huh. Even though you're sneaking at night, so nobody can see you. And you peeping and hiding. And said the darkness will cover me. Don't you know that everything you do it, God sees it just like it's daylight. Yeah. Why you got the darkness trying to cover you? God looking. And see everything you do, everyone you do it, that you ain't got no business. Do y'all don't want to be real with him? And some of y'all are doing it with the Holy Ghost. Now we come in the house of God. 
sheep. And we hide our dirt from everybody else. And we fail to realize that though we're hiding from everybody else, it's exposed Jesus. to God. You remember in the Garden of Eden? They ate of that tree and their eyes came open. Found out they were naked. And the first thing they did was hide themselves. So they went and hid themselves. Because they heard the presence of the Lord coming in the cool of the day. And here comes the presence of God. And they hide it from God. So God says, Adam, where are thou? And don't you know God is so wise that he'll ask you a rhetorical question. Yeah. He'll ask you a question like, he don't know. Where you at? Adam. Where? Where are thou? But the breath of God is already filling the garden. Surrounding the garden. Where are you? I heard the voice. I heard the voice. In the garden. In the garden. And I was afraid. And I was afraid. Because I was naked. Because I was naked. Listen to what God said. And I hid myself. And I hid myself. And he said, who told thee? Who told you? That thou was naked. You were naked. Has thou eaten of the tree? Now listen to this. <laughs> God going to ask him. And this is where we apostolic holiness folks. Mm. Got to get out of this mentality. Jesus. Adam hid himself. From a God that knew he was already naked. Yeah. See, because what Adam failed to realize is that God put him in there. That's right. Naked. Yeah, that's right. He said they were naked <laughs> yes, and not ashamed. Sure. Yes, sir. Because they had no clue that they were naked. That they were naked. Yeah. But God knew yeah. that they were naked. Yeah. So now God wanted to find out. How you know? Because the only one that knew you was naked was me. But listen to the mentality of Adam. His first result was died. And you know what we do when people are in struggles and in sin? We keep them away from the house of God. Jesus. And we try to conceal what it is that they're doing from a God that already knows what they do. Jesus. Hiding your sin will push you deeper into sin. Hiding your sin will make you feel like you can keep doing your sin. Mm. And y'all know what we do? Altar call come. Uh, all right, now. It's time for prayer. Anybody going through something? Anybody struggling with something? Come to the altar. And y'all know what we do? We sit there. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And then we start looking to see who's going up there. <laughs> it's the and then one finally get up there and go. Mm -hmm. I knew it. I, I, I wonder is what I suspect. You know, because I told you, you know, he, he is kind of switching around here a little bit. You know. That wrist is a little broken. He must be going up because he got that little struggle with men. So we start prejudging what it is that they're struggling with. But can I tell the church something tonight? She says, Mind your business. Not answer by fire. 
Because it's the most stuff they got to push through. Oh, but let them keep on coming. Let them keep on sacrificing. And prevent them the next time. They might come and they might not answer my fire. Oh, but you know what we got to do? We got to do like God. The Bible said he's long suffering. Jesus, yes. God will stand there and he'll wait. Yes, yes, yes. And he'll wait. Yes. And he'll wait. 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 And then pre adventure, boom, it comes up. Jesus. But we in the church. Want to give God a time limit on when He should move, when He should do it, how He should, how he should do yeah. it, <laughs> and if He don't do it the way we want Him to do it, then we feel like we need to assist God. Right. My Lord, my well, Lord, we're preaching, my Lord. But God know how to work. Oh, by Himself. Himself. So in 